Hello to all you out there doing men's ministry. This is Mike Sullivan, and I'm here to uh, help with some more men's ministry 101 options for you as you are trying to do men's ministry. Our goal in the Arkansas Assemblies of God District Office, in the men's department, our goal is to see you and your local church have great men's ministry. And so we try to give you ideas, uh, uh, things that we can do to help you. There is some contact information at the end of this video. Please get hold of us if you have questions. There may be questions you've got that these videos are not answering. You need to ask us those questions because you never know. Uh, those very questions could be the things that wind up in a video like this. That if you're asking it, probably somebody else is too. So uh, we want to hear from you, some feedback from you on how we can help you do men's ministry. I've got a subject that I need to broach today that I do not like. This is one I don't care for. Uh, as, a, as a youth pastor, I hated it. As a senior pastor, I hate it. And as a men's leader, <laughs> I still don't like it. And that's fundraising. I cannot stand fundraising, yet I understand that we've got to raise the funds to do ministry. Good ministry costs money. And uh, sometimes if you want to do bigger, better ministry, it costs bigger, better money. Uh, for those of you that are pastors or if you ha just have a um, sort of a yen for uh, church finances, I'll only show you a couple books that you can pick up. Uh, one of these is by Dr. Craig Hood called Take God at His Word. I get Dan to, to zoom in on that one. Take God at His Word talks about being, uh, uh, being faithful, a faithful steward with your finances, doing what's right, uh, paying your tithe, uh, that if you will do the things that God requires of you, God will take care of you. God will help you to uh, uh, have the finances you need. There's another one by Rick Dunham, and it's called, If God Will Provide, Then Why Do I Have to Ask for Money? And uh, this is a very powerful book on why we need to be uh, making sure people are being faithful stewards. And I know that probably hits more the pastor. I just want to throw that out there. But when it comes to fundraising, uh, fundraising is not easy. It can be done. Now, there's a difference. You can nickel and dime yourself with a ton of hard work, not have much return for it. Car washes are that. As a teenager, as a youth pastor, trying to do a car wash, you work all day long, get a third degree sunburn, and uh, you only make about $100. There are better ways to do things. Let me share with you a few things that we do here in my local church at Poen uh, to try to raise try to raise funds uh, for two reasons. Number one, we need money to operate on. But secondly, is we try to raise money for Light for the Lost. And let me encourage you, if you do not know what Light for the Lost is, um, go to the district website, go to ag.org, uh, our national website, and look up Light for the Lost. This is how the men's department, every department in the Assemblies of God does missions, Light for the Lost is the men's department arm of World Missions, uh, providing printed material and uh, uh, books, the Fire Bible, things for pastors uh, and missionaries to do ministry with. One of the things that we like to do is, and it's what guys enjoy doing, one would be the fish fry. Uh, we're going to have one coming up in football season, uh, and here's what we do. We go to our local school system. Uh, talk to the superintendent. If there's other people that we need to talk to, he tells us who to talk to. You go to the superintendent and say, hey, can we do a tailgate party uh, right before the football game? Maybe start about 6 o'clock, 6.30, have the fryers going. And we supply, you know, we and with fundraising, sometimes it takes a hit on the chin. Sometimes it takes a little bit of faith. We'll go buy the, the, the hush puppies, the french fries, the fish, and uh, we'll have all that ready, have all the oil ready. Now, on my part, it takes a little bit of extra work because I, ha as a men's director, I've got to go to the school district and get permission, number one. If they give me permission, sure, come out here and do it. If they say no, that's fine. Don't do it on a Friday, do it on a Saturday at your local church. But once I secure the location and the timing of it, then I got to get the word out. We already put out uh, a uh, one of these devotions dealing with technologies, how you can use just your cell phone to get hold of people uh, and put mass uh, mass messaging out there as far as in your local church, but then through YouTube, Facebook, uh, other venues where you can get media out there so people are seeing it and you're, you're advertising your event. 
Call up your local newspaper. We've got two local newspapers uh, uh, either direction from us. We can call them up, and they do community uh, service events for free. You don't even have to pay for it. How good is that? So you call them up and say, in your community announcements, would you announce that uh, coming up on this such a day, we're doing a fish fry to raise money for our men's department, uh, raise money for whatever. And, and odds are they'll do it. Then you can go to your local school district if your school is allowing you to do it. And uh, you can have, have uh, just a little flyer printed up that you can put out there and uh, uh, send it home with all the kids. Find out how many go to the principal. How many do I need to have so I can announce this thing? And they'll let you know. Some school districts won't let you do it. you got to be creative about it. But you can always print something up and go put it on community bulletin boards around. Uh, uh, you know, print up a poster, a nice looking poster that has time, date, location, and cost, and the purpose of it. Uh, and then make up posters, put them out at church, and tell people, please grab a poster and put it out there. And so you, you get all of this together, go out there, have your fish fry, cook it up, You've been announcing it. People start showing up to pay uh, X amount of money for the for the fish, and you just give them a basket. It's not all you can eat. Give them a, a, a container, a to-go container with the food. Then go up to the bleachers, eat the food, uh, or in your church, you can feed them. And uh, you turn around and you make a profit. Generally, we'll make $500 or so uh, off the fish fry, sometimes more than that. So, I mean, that's, that's something that's, and you'll have to incorporate people to cook uh, I mean, it's not a one-man job. It's something everybody's got to get together and do. There's other things that you can do. Uh, you go on the internet. If you get on the internet and find out uh, fundraising ideas, just do a search on that. Um, it doesn't hurt to, to find other ministers or ministries and say, hey, what did you do? Now, you may not be able to go to your local women's director and say, what do y'all do for a fundraiser? Because they may do something really girly and it's not going to work for you. Um, we have in our church, we have somebody that puts together beauty pageants. <laughs> uh, running a beauty pageant for men's ministry, that would be difficult. It is doable. You can host it, have it for a certain thing, maybe for your community, but then the proceeds go towards your men's ministries. Hey, it's just a suggestion. It's out there. Uh, if you got a godly movie coming, godly movie coming in, like kind of like God's Not Dead and, and uh, Heaven's For Real, those sort of things, Sometimes your local theater will let you buy out an entire screening of it, and you can do it for, uh, and they'll give you a reduced price because you're, you're, you're buying all 200 tickets or whatever it is, and then you tag a couple hundred dollars, or not a couple hundred, add a couple dollars to it, put it out there, and you wind up making a couple hundred dollars off of something just as easy as selling a movie ticket for a screening. People come up because they want to help you and they want to see the movie. That's doable. That's an option. Uh, so there's, there's different things that you can do if, if uh, uh, me personally, I don't believe a, a, a raffle, if you do a raffle at your local school district, sometimes they'll let you raffle off a shotgun or the, you can raffle off uh, deer hunting equipment, you can raffle off uh, a, a bow or a four wheeler or something like that and you can sell the tickets. There's some that believe raffle, raffles are, uh, are gambling, it's a sin, if that's you, don't do it. If that doesn't conflict with you whatsoever, then raffle something off. Again, go to your local school district, go to different groups, go to local businesses. What can you do uh, to raise money? The fact is, is you got to do something. Now, it can be as easy as you want or as hard as you want. You can do a spaghetti dinner at your church and just, uh, you know, put a put a basket out there and say, hey, if you can be a part of, of this, then throw some money in the pot and um, help us raise money for missions. But you need to be doing fundraising. And if you get people on board with you, there are some people that can do it. Um, they don't mind going around, going to businesses and asking for donations, where you can do maybe a silent auction. Uh, those are all attainable. They're all easy to do. We at the district office, uh, your, your men's rep there in your section can help you put some of this together. We're here for you to help you do this Sometimes you just don't know because you don't ask. And sometimes it seems like this huge, daunting project that scares the liver out of you, when the fact is, is it's doable. It's easy. You can make it happen uh, if you just try. So get out there and do some fundraising because you're going to need to raise money for uh, your projects, 
for things that you need to do if you need to buy materials, uh, as well as you need to raise money for Life for the Lost. So any, anything that you can do that you can tag on an extra dollar or two, it's out there. One of the easiest, easiest ways, and we'll end it with this, one of the easiest things that you can do is take 50 envelopes and put on there. You can make up the stickers, go by Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, whatever, and get the, uh, get the labels. You can print on there, Light for the Lost, and uh, uh, do within three weeks. And then you just put an amount on there, $1, $2, $3, $4, $5. If you go from one to 50, if my math is right and I'm remembering right, uh, just 50 envelopes numbered, $1 through $50, and all they do is they just put that amount. If you take a $1 one, you can put $5 in there. That's fine. If you grab a $50 one, don't put a 20 in there. That's not how that works. But one through 50 altogether is right near $1,000. And all you've done is ask people to take one envelope. Me, I do this. Now what I do, I'm the pastor, I'm the leader, I'm not gonna ask anybody to do anything that I'm not willing to do myself. So generally what I'll do is I'll take the biggest envelope and I'll have it and I'll say, this is mine, now come and follow me. And uh, that has always worked, we, it's always done well. You can throw some extra fives and tens and twenties and thirties in there uh, and, and just make it bigger. But just 50 envelopes, number one through 50 is almost a thousand dollars that you can do for missions and that's a one-time thing so let me encourage you as you're leading your men's ministry you're trying to make a difference in your in your area through your men get them involved get them to become a part of it and and learn how to generate the funds that you need to do ministry and to help missionaries do ministry it's only hard until you attempt it once you get it done I promise you, you'll be, you'll be glad you did, and you'll feel better for it. Well, what happens if my venue, what happens if what I tried to do didn't work? Don't give up. Try something else. Try it again. It's only a failure if you quit. When you fail, you learn things. So don't be afraid to learn things sometimes chin first. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you have questions about fundraising, again, you can go on the internet and look. Give us a call at the district office and uh, allow us to talk to you and communicate with you ideas or places you can go, and different things that you can do to raise money for your ministry. God bless you as you do ministry for men for the kingdom of Jesus Christ.